there is something that is everything. It is all of it. And I don't know what that is, and I can't articulate it, but people have been trying to do that for a very long time, and because people are flawed and human and they really want what they want, they're gonna box it in into something that makes them feel comfortable and then glorify it, whatever it is. But this thing that is everything can't escape itself even on the negative end. It can only find a solution for its worst self-perpetuated problem. And we, as we exist in this construct, are assistance to it discovering itself in that way and just like when you do something that you know is shitty or bad or not good for you over and over and over again and kind of self-reinforce it negatively you can do that on the positive so how can you become the strongest the most whole the most resilient if you don't have basically the training and experience of the shittiest shit of shit to get through so that you can even tell a difference or appreciate transcendence um I by no means want to see terrible things happen in the world or to people, you know, just in general, like there is a definite feeling that is recognizable when you observe or take note of someone else's struggle. And if it's relatable, it's always hits you a little bit quicker, a little bit deeper, a little bit harder. But even just with facial expressions, you know, if somebody is in genuine pain or sorrow, you can see it on their face. But even if you couldn't see it on their face because you're completely blind, if that person came into a room, you could feel depth of their discomfort. We are so amazing and we're adapting daily to new cues. Interesting, right? Cues. Because people are adapting and changing and they wouldn't be doing that without everything being the way it is and has been and we could go back to whatever the golden path of perfection is and how that got fucked up and we could be like well we wouldn't have had to go this entire path if we never fucked up to begin with but isn't i mean how fun is that right oh we're just living in paradise forever the experience this whole experience of the rise and fall of our um, everything, who we think we are, how we think things work, how we've been told this is. When we take it all into consideration and then we also give ourselves permission to go beyond that, there is an amazing dimension, I guess, 
that exists beyond all that, that it's not the pinnacle of everything, but it's a portal to that place in the sense that all of a sudden, if you can touch that, this other stuff that seems absolutely insane and chaotic can make some sense. There is so much that could and should be considered in our day to day that nobody has time for because they're just trying to make some dollar dollar bills to pay their rent, buy dog food, you know, survive. Nobody got time to contemplate their place in the universe and what it means beyond the uh, dog and pony show of every day. This frightens me. <laughs> this frightens me because I don't feel like it's white privilege or any sort of certain privilege at all to be able to be considering these things. Uh, though history would say that definitely the people who were most vocal about contemplating these things probably did have a certain amount of what would be considered privilege within their societies. I feel like being able to contemplate these things uh, is a great gift and also a great curse, double-edged sword style, where You could spend all day <laughs> up in this, in my opinion, um, if you could find the people to discourse with or just the dedication to sit down and write it front to back. Um, I don't necessarily want to sit down and write it all front to back. Sometimes I feel like I do, but the fun part of the mystery is the boomerang that is the push me pull you of wanting to do things and having the inspiration to do it. Um, mostly I just want to talk to people who contemplate this as well because I want to gauge where they're coming from and not just talk to myself alone in the garage. That's just me. There's so much, so much to be discussed experienced and experimented with just in our day-to-day -day life by being the people that we are. And uh, I want a team of people to just do that with me, you know, and get together on a daily basis and catch up on each other's notes and ask questions and just uh, live life like the science or life experiment that it is. Um, I suppose if you put your focus in a direction like that, that it can most definitely pan out. So I don't know. Um, this whole thing uh, could be nonsense. It could be brilliant. just nice to sit and visualize some things and try and express them because they seem pertinent right now and even if this isn't shared or commiserated with the act of the vocalization through the vibration through the realization and the etheric connection. It is now out there for contemplation amongst anyone who chooses to grab the thread, the line, the bread, the manna, the question of life, of hope.